Yo, what is good, you guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another Method to the Madness. I believe this is the fifth episode of Method to the Madness, if memory serves, or maybe the sixth one. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check my playlist, but as you can probably tell by the way I'm sounding, um, it is 420, so happy 420, everybody. And yes, your boy... Your boy's feeling the vibes right now, cause your boy done went and uh, yeah, done, done done hit the herb. You know what I'm saying? Done went and relaxed myself up, and then had me a nice little cat nap afterwards. And then, you know, merry merry uh, 420 Christmas for me, cause I just got my order from Kula Hawaii. We got the CBD watermelon slice gummies, and then we got the full spectrum hemp extract. Uh, gummy, gummy bear gummies, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, your boy is feeling good, and then, I don't remember ordering this, as a matter of fact, I checked my order, and this was not in there, so I think Kula decided to hook your boy up with some, uh, some body butter, so yeah, went ahead and put some on my face, put some on my arms, you know what I'm saying, so your boy is nice and relaxed, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this edition of Method to the Madness. Today we're going to be having a look at a recent drop I just put out. This song is simply called Night Terrors. Now, the backstory for for Night Terrors. What what brought what what brought this song on was a while back. I believe it was like well over a month ago, maybe about a month and a half ago. I'm not quite sure. It was a while ago though. Um I had a a nightmare one night uh, very horrible dream. Um, I dreamt that I was, unfortunately, I, I died in a car accident, and then I ended up where I'm led to believe it's heaven um, because I'm, you know, I'm surrounded by, you know, clouds. You know what I mean? No, and no, not not the 420 type clouds. It's just it's just cloudy. I remember just seeing a bunch of white, um, <clears throat> and I was sitting on the bench, and I could hear like. People were like in a room, like it was like a meeting going on. People were talking, I guess, determining like what 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 my what my fate is gonna be. And while I'm waiting there, I remember um, just being really cold, and I'm I'm shivering. And I'm not cold to the point where I can see my breath, but it was cold enough to where I, w I was shivering and everything. And then all of a sudden, I'm wrapped in this in this blanket, and this blanket it freaked me out because the colors of it it was like red and black with a little bit of like yellow trim i guess it was supposed to represent like hellfire and brimstone and all i know is that i was nice and warm i was comfortable but then when i realized what this blanket represented i kind of had like this look of defeat on my face this look of failure and before you know it i'm tearing up because i thought you know, I was fearing the worst. I thought I was going, they were going to send me to hell. You know what I'm saying? And when that thought hit me and I'm tearing up, this was a Elm Street level nightmare. And I say that because, you know, the tears that I was feeling in my, in my nightmare, I woke up in the same amount of tears in my eyes. So yeah, it, it really, really bothered the, the uh, shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and get into this uh, night terrors. I just want to give that quick backstory as to why I wrote this song. You know what I mean? Where where does this song come from? Now that y'all know, let's go ahead and dig right into this by liking the hit here. Go. Oh, and real quick as an update, the this shirt right here. Um, this is the front view. This is the rear view. Uh, this shirt is still avail available in my second storefront in my merch shop. Um, I did come up with another new design, a brand, brand new uh, design that is now also now available. It's based on uh, the NWO Wolfpack. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, it is the official red and black JJV logo. You know what I mean? It's got the wolf portrait hidden inside the logo. It's pretty dope. And then the back, it's got like a skull with a nautical star on it and everything. And, uh, and, it, it, and then there, there's a quote on back inspired by my, by my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera. Shout out to you, Jay. Um, the quote reads, only alphas. Because, you know, you get it. Wolves, alpha, alpha wolf. So, yeah. Make sure y'all go pick that up. Um, I need to update my intro to showcase what that shirt looks like. 
So that way you guys could get a little sneak peek at it and maybe decide to pick up a merch, a piece of merch or two. That would be greatly appreciated. But anyway. Damn all the demons that be plotting and scheming Trying to ruin my evening Invasion of my peacefully dreaming wakey, wakey. Now entering them heathens Interrupting my sleep Like that fucking creep from Elm Street Alright, so as you can see from the first set of lyrics there We're gonna break this down um, So damn all them demons that be plotting and scheming Trying to ruin my evenings Invasion of my peacefully dreaming This is me basically addressing the, you know, the nightmare that I had You know what I mean? All these damn all these demons that be you know that be uh putting in that work for the devil you know what i mean trying to you know play this this imagery this, this these visions in my you know in my dream in my nightmares and everything trying to convince me like look you're you're you're, you're not a person of god you're not you know you're not someone who is heaven bound you know what i'm saying you're you're, you're a dark person you're you're a bad person you deserve to go to hell you know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna bring you to hell. And my my whole thing is like, look, dude, you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. I will never be on your side. I, I'm not gonna end up down there. You know what I'm saying? I am on the side of God. I am on the side of Christ. You know what I'm saying? And do I believe I deserve to be in heaven? No, I don't. But I'm gonna do everything that I can to earn my way up there. You feel me, Bruh. Can no nightmare, you know what I'm saying, keep me from that? You know what I mean, bro? Elm Street. <laughs> so, like the like the creep from Elm Street. Obviously, that's a Freddy Krueger reference. I love horror movies. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's one of my favorite horror franchises. Um, and fun fact: the ad libs you're hearing, like like the uh, the uh, wakey wakey, that that is me doing the Joker voice, and then the Freddy Krueger laughter, the ha 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 ha. That is your boy as well. You know what I'm saying? And no, I didn't use no special effects. That is your boy. You know what I mean? For those of you who don't know, I do impressions, you know. I like to do the Joker voice every now and again. <laughs> and um, your boy likes to do Freddy Krueger impressions, especially that laugh. You know, the ha 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 You are all my children now. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that's your boy. You know what I mean? Uh, instead of getting sound bites, I provide my own sound bites. You know what I'm saying? But, but anyway. Why does this shit keep on happening to me? Damn this constant battle. It's got my cage a little rattle. Motherfuckers best get daddle like a herd of cattle. All of y'all finna learn. I just can't be burned. So, <clears throat> again, going fur further into uh, the dream, into like this nightmare situation, and it's like, yeah, I feel like it's a constant struggle that I'm dealing with. It's a constant battle, you know, and I feel like you know, I was, I was nearing my, my breaking point, you know what I mean? So hence why, yeah, it's got my cage a little rattled and everything. And, uh, yeah, because I mean, it's not the first time I've had like dreams or nightmares, you know what I mean? That, 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 you know what I mean? Where, you know, the devil is trying to send messages to me, you know what I'm saying? Obviously if God and Christ can, can can speak to you in your subconscious so can the devil you know what i'm saying and in order for you and <clears throat> you know if you think god and christ are real then you have to acknowledge the fact that the devil is just as real you know what i'm saying now just because you acknowledge it, it, it yeah devil is just as real that doesn't mean you have to listen to him you know what i'm saying you don't have to listen to him you know listen to the righteous voices that is god and that is christ you know what i'm saying and make sure that you are on their side you know what i'm saying that's kind of where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? It's like no matter what, I'm ignoring everything that the devil is telling me. I'm ignoring his little minions, his demons. You know what I mean? They can do whatever they want. You know what I mean? I'm not going anywhere. You know? So, best of luck. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah. Motherfuckers best skedaddle. And apparently I spelled skedaddle wrong. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Blindsight. <laughs> Shout out to Blindsight, the homie. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, like a herd of cattle. Yeah, motherfucking fast get out like a herd of cattle. Obviously, you know, if you scare like, um, you know, cattle, um, cows, you know what I mean? Um, they all freaking, you know, well, freaking, you know, um, what do they call it? Um, stampede, you know what I mean? They, they, they'll start a stampede and they'll start running people, you know what I mean? Running people over, whatever you spook them, whatever they, they will, they will run you down, maul you down. You know what I mean? They'll do whatever they have to do to get some distance. You know what I'm saying? Um, and looks and sooner or later, all y'all finna learn. I just can't be burned yet. Yeah, sooner or later, these, these demons, you know, all these little, you know, night terrors, these little creatures or whatever, they're going to learn, hey, your boy just cannot be burned. Your boy just cannot be messed with. Like I said, I already dealt with enough negativity in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, just recently my Easter was, was, was ruined because someone decided to tell me straight to my face in front of a group of family members that they don't need me. Well, that's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Y'all finna learn, I just can't be burned I'm that rogue hell spawn Fixing the rogue yeah. all my wrongs I'ma keep on keeping on So, I'm that rogue hell spawn I'm, Yes, I am a spawn fan I do have the 1997 uh, spawn movie um, I did also pick up the HBO uh, spawn animated series um, DVD box set or Well, it's not really a box set I think it's only like one or, one or two volumes one, cause I think it was only on HBO for like one or two seasons but I got that too. I also have a Spawn action figure in my little, um, on my shelf behind me here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm a Spawn fan. <clears throat> I'm that Rogue Hell Spawn, meaning I'm that one, I'm, I'm Spawn in this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that one, that one dude who you try to get me to do your work for you, but it's not happening. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fixing the right, all my wrongs, meaning, yo, I'm a, I'm gonna do my best to live the best life that I possibly can, you know what I'm saying, by doing the right thing, and uh, I'm gonna keep on keeping on, like, my name is Tekanina, Tech9, uh, Tech9 actually has a song called Keep On Keeping On, you know what I'm saying, or I believe it's what it's called, it's either called Keep On Keeping On or Keeping On, I know it's on his um, Angelic album, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of his older songs when he was, like, so far underground you know what i'm saying that people barely even knew who he was um it's one of my favorite songs you know you could pray and pray for my downfall but when i rise like the sun i ain't fucking with y'all i'ma keep on keeping on keep on going on you know what i'm saying um in the one more mina can nobody hold this og down facts you know what i mean i'm just too mean for you you know what i mean and, and no matter what you do you are not going to stop me from accomplishing my goals and achieving my dreams. So, let's go ahead and get back into this. My name is Tekanina. Ain't no one more Mina. Can't nobody hold this OG down. This your night tears. I'll still be standing right here. To spite the nightmares. I refuse to go anywhere. So, dispatch your little... Dispatch your night terrors. I'll still be standing right here meaning again i'm not going nowhere you can do whatever you want you can say whatever you want you can show me all the imagery the uh, visuals that you want you are not going to deter me from doing what i want to do you're not going to deter me from busting my ass so i can live again my best life you know what i'm saying so whatever keep it coming i'm not going nowhere i'm still going to be standing you know what i'm saying bruh uh to spite the nightmares i refuse to go anywhere so yeah again show me all these visuals, all that imagery, you can keep playing that over and over in my, my dome piece. You know what I mean? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Keep keep trying. It's, you're you're going to fail every time. Let's go. Dispatcher night tears. I'll still be standing right here. To spite the nightmares, I refuse to go anywhere. Look at this fool. I'm not. I'm just saying. Trying to be that big rep persuasion, but it's himself that he's playing. Bruh. How humiliating. So that right there should be pretty self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, look at this dude embarrassing the hell out of himself by, you know, trying to be that big rep persuasion. Um, you know, but he's only playing himself because he's, he's wasting his time. He's wasting his time. So he's playing himself. And it's humiliating to me. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's funny. I'm, I'm laughing at him because it's not. I mean, he could do whatever he wants, but I'm never going to be on his side. Never. 
You know what I mean? Ain't dancing with no devils in that pale moonlight. Batman, one of my favorite heroes. Um, so this is a reference to the 1989 Batman movie starring Michael Keaton. You know, easily one of my favorite Batman movies of all time. Hands down, Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman um, of all time. You try to tell me, oh, Christian Bale is a better Batman or Ben Affleck is a better Batman or even Rob, Robert Pattinson is a better Batman. Uh, no, you, you, you are wrong and you should be ashamed for having that opinion. I'm just saying. Ain't dancing with no devils in that pale moonlight. Yeah, no deep down inside. It's eating at your pride. Man, you've been on this long ride since the day mama once called me a devil boy. You Again, another uh, Tech Nine reference. That's why it's in the quotes. Devil Boy, it's in quotes. Uh, Tech Nine does have a song. And again, this is on the um, Angelic album. If you never heard Tech Nine's An Angelic album, man, y'all y'all are missing out on some real dope Tech Nine shit. You know what I mean? People think tech is dope now. Yes and no. I mean, yes, my man can still go. He can still flow. He can still spit. But if you listen to a lot of tech stuff now, his newer stuff, it's very repetitive compared to like his older stuff. Like I said, if you want to hear the best Tech Nine stuff ever, go back to his early stuff. You know what I mean? Um, Absolute Power is another dope album. And Angelic, where the track Devil Boy is from, is a dope album. And Devil Boy is a song I can relate to because, yes, my mom actually did call me a Devil Boy one time, a long time ago when I was little. She called me a Devil Boy. And, um, used to have me paranoid. Now I'm doing my best to be a better boy. So basically like, yeah, I would always worry, you know, and you know, when, when she called me that I, I, I was kind of worried, like, okay, I need to be careful with what I do, how, how I, you know, treat people, how I live life. Cause I don't want to be, you know, that bad person. I don't want to be known as, as, as a horrible, terrible person. I want to be the best person that I can possibly be. Hence the, now I'm doing my best to be a better boy spitting that real noise you know tell, tell, tell them the truth and help spread some real joy you know what i mean help spread some happiness help spread some laughter and whatnot so yeah anyway let's go ahead and get back into this Back. I be paranoid now i'm doing my best to be a better boy spitting that real noise help spread some real joy yo in a better headspace great things are coming my way you will never be that barricade in your so yeah in a better headspace I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in the best headspace, but I feel like I am getting there. So hence why I say, you know, in a better headspace, great things are coming my way, doing my best to try to speak things into existence, you know, by constantly telling myself great things are coming my way. You will never be that, that barricade in your head. Let that marinate. Meaning, look, dude, I mean, I don't know how many times I got to tell you, but you're not going to block me from my goals you're not going to keep me from my dreams you know what i mean so in your head let that marinate you know what i mean let it let it circulate let it let it do what it needs to do in your dome piece because you are not getting through to me dude it's just not happening I said i know where my loyalties lie um yeah i know i'm getting ahead of myself but you know i'm going by you know how it's written here um i know where my loyalties lie i'm gonna always choose the light meaning i'm always gonna be on the side of god i'm always gonna be on the side of christ you know what I'm saying, and do, and do what what is right for my, you know, best interest. Um, you you keep trying to knock me down, I'm gonna get back up. Yeah, like I said, you know, you do whatever you want, man. You're you're not gonna, you're not gonna keep me down. Even if you manage to get me down, you're not gonna keep me down. It's not gonna happen. Head, let it marinate. I know where my loyalties lie. I'm gonna always choose the light. I'm gonna always do what's right. Keep trying to knock me down, I'ma get back up. Dispatch your night terrors, I'll still be standing right here. To spite the nightmares, I refuse to go anywhere. This you know, I'ma toot my own horn on this for once, you know what I mean? Because I don't feel like I, I get this enough, but I really like the direction I went with on this hook. Um... Obviously, I'm not the greatest of singers, but, you know, hey, I, I got I got to, you know, test my vocal range. I got to, you know, try something new, do something different. You know what I mean? To because um, I don't want to keep myself, you know, in this box where all I am is just a rapper and all I do is just rapping hooks and stuff like that. I really want to test out my vocal range to see what I can really do, you know, and 
<clears throat> I feel comfortable enough to to try something a little different. You know what I mean? Go, let, me, let me see if I can sing this hook. Let me see if I could try a, a singing hook. And this is not the first singing hook that I've done. If you heard my song, My Cali Dream, I do a singing hook in that song as well. Not my best hook, but I think it's a good start. And I feel like this hook I'm doing here, it's a step up from the hook I did in My Cali Dream. Of course, that's just, that's just my own opinion. You know what I mean? But anyway... Bet your night tears, I'll still be standing right here Despite the nightmares, I refuse to go anywhere See, I Is it a perfect hook by any means? No, it's not, but you know what? It's mine, I stand by it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm confident in it, you know what I mean? So, let's go Anywhere. See, I ain't the rock, but I'ma still be walking tall And have myself a ball, I'm rising up just like a scorpion king you know, I was I was listening to this part, and so let, let me let me break it down like this. See, I ain't the Rock. Obviously, I'm I'm referring to Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who's one of my favorite WWE superstars. You know what I'm saying? He's still one of my favorite WWE superstars. Um, and I made a couple of references to his movies. You know, Walking Tall that was one of his movies. Scorpion King is another one of his movies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, have myself a ball. I was looking at this line and I was thinking, yo, I should have made an, an, an E-40 Bay Area reference. And, and instead of saying, have myself a ball, have myself a player's ball. Because there's a song that E-40 did called Player's Ball. And it features some other Bay Area rappers too, like Too Short. And um, I forget who else is on it. It's been a while since I listened to Player's Ball. Um, but I thought that, that would have been a dope reference. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yes. Yeah, so oh, I ain't the rock. Obviously, I'm not The Rock, um, <laughs> but I'm going to still be walking tall, walking tall, movie reference, but walking tall, like, yo, I'm going to be, you know, walking with my head held high and everything, you know what I mean? Uh, big dog status and have myself a ball, meaning, yo, I'm going to have fun doing what I love to do, whether it's making my music, doing reaction videos or doing gameplay videos for the second channel, shameless plug, uh, please hit up the second channel, that'd be greatly appreciated if you haven't done so already. Um, rising up just like the Scorpion King. Obviously, the Scorpion King is one of The Rock's um, many movies. I believe that was actually his first movie where he had his, or he had a starring role was the Scorpion King. And I, th I think Walking Tall. No, um, there was another another movie he did with Sean William Scott that came right after that. And then after that movie was uh, Walking Tall. Um. But yeah, doing the damn thing. I'm aiming for that Hall of Fame ring. That's a reference to the WWE Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then obviously that there, there's a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as well. Um, you see, I got no strings. Doing the damn thing. I'm aiming for that Hall of Fame ring. You see, I got no strings to hold me back. I got no strings to hold me back. Pinocchio reference. He has a song in... Um, in the, in the original uh, Disney's Pinocchio, uh, got no strings to hold. I think actually he says, I got no strings to hold me down. There are no strings on me. But being that I'm doing a rap, it's got a rhyme. So instead of hold me down, I put hold me back. I actually wrote hold me down. And as you can see, I put back over it to correct it. Um, yeah. But anyway, let's get on with the rest of the verse. He ain't slipping through no cracks. I already felt the wrath of that dark path. So I refuse to go back. I'm leveling up just like a Mario, bruh. So, I <clears throat> already felt the wrath of that dark path. I refuse to go back. Yeah, I've done some things in my past I'm not proud of. I said some things in my past I'm not proud of. You know what I'm saying? Um, that I know it, it goes against uh, the things that God stands for, the things that Christ stands for. So, yeah, I'm not proud of that stuff, but hey, whatever, that's my past, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not going back to that place, I'm trying to do the best that I can to be, you know, a better version of myself than who I was yesterday, you feel me, so yeah, and um, I'm leveling up just like a Mario, bruh, obviously Super Mario, um, the sound effect you heard was from the original Mario Brothers game, whenever he would get, uh, like a mushroom, a flower, star, you know, the, like the, the, uh, power-ups, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then of course with the Super Mario games, you play through, uh, a bunch of different levels and each level you play through gets, gets tougher and tougher, you know what I'm saying? It gets harder and harder. Um, 
you know. So yeah, I'm leveling up just like a Mario bro. I'm going to find my princess. Uh, when you play the original Super Mario Brothers game, what is the one thing that you always run What is the, the the one being you always run into? You always run into uh, Toad or one of the uh, yeah, mushroom people. And what is that one quote that they always tell you? Sorry, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. So, I'm going to find my princess. Finna build our castle. Yeah, I'm a stubborn little rascal that's... So yeah, finna build our castle. You know what I mean? I'm gonna find my princess. We're gonna build our castle. We're gonna build together. You know what I'm saying? As one. Um, yeah, I'm a stubborn little rascal. Little rascal is a movie reference. Uh, I I grew up watching the '90s version of the Little Rascals. I do have the the uh, the the '90s version of the Little Rascals movie that um, I used to watch all the time when I was a kid. It's a funny movie. I still love it. Um, <clears throat> That's dealt with enough hassles, meaning, you know, obviously I told you guys various things about my past, you know what I mean? Like, don't, I, you know what I mean? I, I've been bullied in school. It's not fun. It's not cool. But yeah, it's happened. I've been bullied by family members, you know what I mean? I have family members treat me, you know, like like, like a punching bag, a doormat and everything. And then finally now I'm at a point where like, nope, enough is enough. You're, you're not going to treat me that way anymore. So I'm keeping my distance from all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Dealt with enough hassles, label me an asshole. Well, shit, that's a compliment. So yeah, um, I've been I've been called an asshole many a times to the point where it's like, okay, and you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, look, it, it, am I a smart ass? Sure, you know what I mean. Um, you, you you can't hurt me. You you can say whatever you want, however you want. I really don't care. Um. The, the, but the thing that bothers me, though, about things that get said is repetition. You say the same thing over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Then that's when I have a problem because it's annoying and it's like, just, 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 just stop. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have nothing, you know, better to say, nothing good to say, then you're wasting my time. You're wasting your time. But So anyway, but label me an asshole all you want. I really don't care. I know who I am at the end of the day. That's all that matters. Those who really know me know who I am at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And uh, those who think they know me, well, are the ones that, that be that be talking all, all kinds of mad shit. You know what I mean? And these be the same people who I've helped out at one point. You know? So, yeah. They, they, they have a funny way of thanking me. But anyway. Ain't killing my confidence. You don't find your ass on the defense with your damn shenanigans. I'm feeling so. Yeah, all this nonsense, all these things, all these tactics that you're using against me. It's not. It's not hurting me none. You know what I mean? You're not killing my confidence. You know what I mean? You're always gonna be on the on the defense, on, on the defensive side side of things. You know what I mean? And I'm always gonna be on the offensive side of things because, like I said, you're you're not hurting me, man. I mean. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you feel you need to do. You're, you're not breaking me. Yeah, panicking. And your voice in my ears is silent like a mannequin. Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? I, I know you're worried. I know you're scared. I feel you panicking because I, you know, because deep down inside, your voice to my ears, you know that your voice to my ears is silent like a mannequin. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. I'm not listening to you. I'm not paying any attention to you. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Sign it like a mannequin. Dispatcher. And yes, the, the mannequin reference, it is a callback to my song Mannequin. So yeah. Night tears, I'll still be standing right here. Despite the nightmares, I refuse to go anywhere. Dispatcher night tears, I'll still be standing right here. Despite the nightmares, I refuse to go anywhere. Actually, let me wind that back some so we can get that promo in. 
So yeah, yeah, I, I I love that beat, man. I thought that beat was perfect for the song. You know what I mean? It, it's it's got that. It's kind of got that haunting, kind of dark horror core type vibe. But then it's got that West Coast, that signature West Coast sound. You know, with the with the with the uh, with the uh, synths and with the with the flute in there. You know, so yeah. Um. I'm I'm really proud of the way the song came out. Now this version, um, obviously, I, I feel like the mix is off. I know people have told me, yeah, that I think the the volume on the vocals is a little bit up from the instrumentals. You need to drop that down some. So that's what, exactly what I did. Um, yes, this is the EP I'm working on called "Welcome to My Madhouse." As you can see, it's me in a padded room wearing a straight jacket. And I'm wearing a straight jacket. I got the Joker face on. And yes, as you can see, it says coming soon. I don't have uh, an exact date for it just yet. Uh, we'll keep you guys up to date, though, as to when it will be dropping. So yeah, just bear with me. Oh, uh, something else I wanted to address in regards of like the mixing issues. Yes, I did went back. I did pull the song back uh, to the lab. Let me see if I can pull it up. So here you go, guys. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Or maybe I'll just let the whole thing play out. And then you guys can let me know if the mix is better this time. The demons that be plotting and scheming Trying to ruin my evening Invasion of my peacefully I'll dreaming wait, Now wait. entering them heathens Interrupting my sleep Like that fucking creep from Elm Street <laughs> Why does this shit keep on happening to me? Damn this constant battle It's got my cage a little rattle Motherfuckers best get daddle Like a herd of cattle All of y'all finna learn I just can't be burned I'm that rogue hell spawn Fixing to yeah. all my wrongs I'ma keep on keeping on Like my name is Tekken Mina Ain't no one more <laughs> Mina can't nobody hold this OG down This better night tears I'll still be standing right here To spite the nightmares I refuse to go anywhere This better night tears I'll still be standing right here To spite the nightmares I refuse to go anywhere Look at this fool I'm, not, I'm huh? just saying Trying to be that big repersuasion, but it's himself that he's playing. Bruh. How humiliating. Ain't dancing with no devils in that pale moonlight. Yeah, I know deep down inside, it's eating at your pride. Man, you've been on this long ride since the day mama once called me a devil boy. Used Facts. to have me paranoid. Now I'm doing my best to be a better boy. Spitting that real noise helps spread some real joy. Yo, in a better headspace, great things. Are coming my way You will never be that barricade In your head Let it marinate I know where my loyalties lie I'ma always choose the light I'ma Amen. always do what's right Keep trying to knock me down I'ma get back up Dispatch your night tears I'll still be standing right here To spite the nightmares I refuse to go anywhere Dispatch your night tears I'll still be standing right here To spite the nightmares I refuse to go anywhere See I ain't the rock But I'ma still be walking tall And have myself a ball Rising up just like a scorpion king Doing a damn thing I'm aiming for that hall of fame ring You see I got no strings To hold me back Ain't slipping through no cracks Already felt the wrath of that dark path so I refuse to go back I'm leveling up just like a Mario bruh I'm gonna find my princess Finna build our castle Yeah, I'm a stubborn little rascal That's dealt with enough hassles Label me an asshole Well shit, that's a compliment Ain't killing my confidence You will find your ass on the defense With your damn shenanigans I'm feeling your panicking And your voice in my ears Is silent like a mannequin Dispatch your night tears, I'll still be standing right here Despite the nightmares, I refuse to go anywhere Dispatch 
but your night tears I'll still be standing right here to despite the nightmares I refuse to go anywhere Alright y'all, so that is Night Terrors from your boy Jason JV. Feel free to let me know what y'all think. Um, I can't wait to uh, put out this EP. Yeah, as you can see, I got the file right here pulled up. I got a couple of tracks on there. So Damn Crazy will be on the album or the EP, excuse me. And uh, yeah, and then I, I gotta figure out um, what I'm gonna do for my next couple of songs. So yeah, I'm kind of like you know, flying by the seat of my pants, you know what I'm saying, and uh, getting this EP uh, put together and everything, and so, yeah, let me know what y'all think, I uh, really appreciate y'all coming through to watch this video, and uh, yeah, let me know how y'all feeling about this Method to the Madness series, I really like, um, you know, telling these stories behind um, the, the uh, songs, so to give you guys a better understanding, you know what I mean, to keep that transparency with y'all. So, yeah, let me know how y'all feeling about all this. And, uh, yeah, can we check out all y'all's feedback in the comment section, as I always do. If you're with this video, y'all know what to do with the thumbs up down below. Don't forget, of course, check out all the links in the video description down below, including my store link with the two storefronts. Uh, the second storefront will have all the latest merch. Uh, the first storefront has all the older stuff that you may have missed out on. So, yeah, feel free to check out uh, both storefronts. Uh, discount code JV2. We'll take 10% off on all your purchases. So, yeah, it would mean the world if you guys can pick up an item or two to help me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to eat. I'm just trying to keep the lights on. And that's all I'm trying to do for right now. So, yeah, any and all uh, help that you guys can provide is greatly, greatly appreciated. Real talk. And, uh, yeah, don't forget, of course, check out all the fan band uh, whose channels I have linked in the folks I rock with section. That will also mean the world. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much covers it. So with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV. And y'all take care of bless one. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Happy 420.